And there we have it. Um, we didn't get the secondary GC riders fighting for the breakaway. Sounds quite an easy breakaway to get into. David Godou, Mathieu van der Poel, Warren Bargiel to name three. Um, behind UAE made it clear that they wanted to win the stage. <clears throat> I had hoped that they would ride aggressively, you know, test finger goal. But despite him being isolated early, Matteo Jorgensen dro got dropped pretty quickly on the Galibier. Um, they didn't test him that way. They tested him with a Galibier team time trial. Amazon Yates did a small turn, but then clearly wasn't on a great day. Uh, but Ayuso was fantastic. Almeida was brilliant as well. And they really set a threshold pace that just destroyed riders in the group. They were left going into the final kilometre of the climb with Rodriguez, Remco, Roglic, Landa, and obviously Vingegaard, Pogacar, Almeida and Ayuso. And I was beginning to wonder, like many, whether Pogacar was going to attack or just sprint for the bonuses. I think he did attack initially just to get the bonuses, but then... He got to the top of the Galibier and noticed that Vingegaard had been dropped. Not by much, but he got dropped, so he thought, why not punch it on the descent? They were pretty even on the technical part of the top of the Galibier, but with about 14-ish K to go. On the power sections, Pogaccio started to put out a bit more time. Ultimately, 37 seconds, not including the time bonuses to Vingegaard. Behind... Remco looked and was the strongest of the other contenders on the climb. He wasn't a million miles away from the two of them, but still pretty far away, if you get my drift. Um, but he was well ahead of Rodriguez, Ayuso and Almeida and Roglic as well. He was weakest on the technical part of the descent again. He got caught by Rodriguez, who was flying, Roglic, who was flying, Ayuso, who was just chilling. And he had to use the power sections to close the gap. Ultimately, they would catch on to Jonas Vingegaard. Remco would win the sprint, take second place on GC. Podium's looking very open. In fact, the race is still looking very open. We still don't know what is going to be like in the third week. We still don't know what is going to be like, or Roglic, or Remco. So, still a lot to play for. The next GC day is probably going to be the TT. Um, Remco, could he go into yellow? Remains to be seen. Out of the other GC contenders, Carap has lost four minutes, five minutes. Yates, Simon Yates, um, Mass and Hindley lost four minutes. Vlasov lost a couple of minutes. Uh, but now finished not a million miles off, about a minute down as well. So still in... A reasonable contention for a top five. Personally, in the f next mountain stages or in the next punchy stages, I would use riders aggressively. I would personally really test the isolation of Visma if I was UAE and send Ayuso up the road because I think Vingegaard has to follow. <laughs>